going on, peoples? Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Jason. Ivy, how are you? Tim. Kevin's in the house. I am taking off this little piece of paper so we can get back to work. Hope everybody's doing all right. This is what we're working on tonight. Been a busy week, y'all. Thanks. <laughs> What's up, Kevin? Kevin, I have the funny feeling that I'm being watched. Hopefully, I'll actually keep everything. ahead of time I tried to get license free music to play through these things however even with the license free music that dumb Facebook filter thing pops up and ends up muting everything oh dude seriously it is <laughs> hey how are you <laughs> So, I have been forced to play music that I just put together on a keyboard. So, I hope you guys like it because that's all I got. Since I can't trust Facebook, or I can't trust Facebook, I can't trust YouTube to give me license free music without a problem. <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear me sing. That will that will take everybody away. Everybody will fly away from here in an instant. This is not Bill's karaoke night. Although I've been uh I'm guilty of having been part of karaoke things. So, I don't think anybody's got that on video though, so we'll be fine. Don't tempt me, Kevin. I will buy an accordion right now. listening to will be some weird Al Yankee picks. Hopefully this angle on the table is a little bit better than the last video. I was kind of noticing on the last one, my hand was covering the whole table. Every time I put my hand down to draw a line, 
Not exactly fun when you're covering up the whole thing. <laughs> Thanks, Ivy. <laughs> I'm gonna be a hand model in my second job. <laughs> Yeah, Kevin, you're right. I started uh, adding a little bit of something, something to the zombies. The rock cover for this, the zombies look a little bit different. Which, by the way, if, uh, if you didn't hear the other uh, video thing, this is a cover for a project that we're going to do with Fivefinity Comics, who the publisher there, his name is Steve Frank. Steve, how you doing? We got uh, we got a crossover with them. They're known for doing uh, Zombies versus Cheerleaders. So we are doing a crossover Kickstarter with them uh, coming up at the end of the month during San Diego Comic-Con's At Home event which is their online Comic-Con, since no one can actually uh, have a real Comic-Con right now. So it's gonna be Nira X versus Zombies versus Cheerleaders. That's just the natural progression of how that happened. So this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a super fun book. That's right, Kev, yeah, this, uh, this zombie up here is a little bit more Skeletor than it was before. This one, uh, this one down here is a little bit more more Mars attacks than it was before. A little bit of little bit of parody license happening with those zombies. I don't know, Jason, dude. I don't know if Nero's gonna win or not. <laughs> Actually, I do know, but I can't tell you. But it is uh, it is a fun story. Definitely gonna be Nira at her bounty hunting best. She's definitely not gonna be the uh, the victim of this story. She's actually uh, she is actually something else in the story, and she's not a zombie, so I'm not going that route. But she's definitely not the victim. She's definitely the uh, the powerhouse of the book. sit down and write more music just so I don't get nabbed for using copyrighted music.
<laughs> I don't know, Ivy. I don't know if I can find those pictures. But speaking of pictures, we're going to talk about a picture that you know about. We're going to start talking about that next week. Just taking care of a few deadlines, a couple commissions, and I think, uh, I think you and I are going to be talking about a second piece that we have planned. That's going to be super duper fun. Make sure I stay in frame here. I wanted to get the camera a little bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. So now I gotta be careful that I don't just have the camera just go right off a of frame on you. I can't see can't see anything. I'm off the off the whole scene. Oh, for sure, Kevin. It's definitely gonna be a fun month of commissions this month. No, that's for sure, Kevin. You were absolutely correct. Without all the uh, traveling, I might actually catch up on all my deadlines now. But I do miss the shows, man. It's rough not being able to travel. But I definitely have to look at the bright side of things. Ain't nothing wrong with that.
zoom up on this guy. Let's work on this guy for a little bit. Ivy, you are so right. At least that's what I'm hoping. I gotta, I gotta make up for all the traveling I didn't do this time. And we had a lot of trips planned for this year before all this stuff started coming down. And speaking of trips, big shout out to Rob over at LE, Limited Edition Comics in Cedar Falls. That's, we've been meaning to go back there for years. It's been a couple of years now. And we actually had everything all set up and I was ready for the road trip. And unfortunately, all of this stuff happened. So we're definitely gonna make up for a lot of lost traveling. Jim, good evening to you. Glad you're hanging out with us. Oh, being trapped in a house is definitely a drag. But making the best of everything. Get to hang out with you guys this way, which is super cool. I sort of accelerated my, uh, my plans of uh, learning how to live stream and basically just get my setup going so that way we can do this kind of stuff. So I'm kind of glad for some stuff. This stuff is definitely cool. But I shall remain hopeful as well. There's no sense being negative. Doesn't help nobody, doesn't help you out. May as well look forward to what we're gonna do and keep on making some cool plans. Everything will eventually, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be uh, back to normal, like back to the way it was, but definitely like whatever the new normal is, whatever the new thing is, hopefully we'll, we can make it better. That way we can go out and do our stuff, do our thing. <laughs> Jim, for real? <laughs> That's awesome. Spondimal was like one of my favorite ones. I loved, I loved drawing him. That was so cool. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't draw Animal like years ago. Like, how can I not have drawn Animal? I think I've only drawn Animal twice now. Spondimal was probably, gosh, the second time that I was able to draw him 
And I got some time. So damn fun. Once in a while, I gotta look up at the camera, make sure I'm on, make sure I'm still there. Junior, what's up? Joe, how you doing? Carlos, happy to have you, dude. Glad to see you on there, Junior. I miss you guys. I can't even go back home this year. No San Diego for me for uh, July, thanks to all this mess. I'm gonna have to plan a triumphant return for next year. <laughs> Kermit the Frog as the Green Lantern. Dude, that would be awesome. I kid you not, that would be super awesome. I'm definitely going to have to note that down. Make sure, make sure I'm in frame. a trip where magic and strippers go with me yes that would be a triumphant return that would be my favorite trip <laughs> that's right Joe get this party started you know what I'm saying <laughs> I'm glad you're in the house Joe you know what's up
Ken, what's up, bro? The second I see your name, I already want to start hiding stuff in the drawing. Secret Easter eggs. So Ken, and all those who don't actually know because maybe uh, didn't catch one of my other little videos, this is gonna be the cover for a crossover event. We're gonna do a Kickstarter starting on July 22nd. Um, it's gonna be Zombies versus Cheerleaders, a crossover with Nira X, kind of a one-shot deal, calling it Nira X versus Zombies versus Cheerleaders, which how could I say no to doing that crossover, dude? So yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a whole lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, we're gonna announce it. And have a Kickstarter. A pre-launch starts on uh, July 22nd, and then the actual Kickstarter starts on the 27th, like right after the whole Comic Con thing. Uh, wraps up the day before, we're going to start the actual uh, Kickstarter right there the next day. This guy I'm hiding back here in the corner. That is a true Easter egg. Only if you were buying this book back in the 90s. This is a hint of who the villain might be in the book. Of course, other than zombies. Hope I'm not making anybody dizzy by spinning the paper all the way around. <laughs> Again. <laughs> a cybergasm. You know what? She does have a lot of clothing on, Ivy. Some would argue too much. <laughs> I know I would argue too much. But I do have good news. We've got lots of little plans to remedy those kind of situations. We got some special books that are just for those kind of situations. You already know I'm looking forward to those. I like to draw for everybody, man.
That's right, Ken. That is exactly what the black book is for. <laughs> you know what's up. And luckily, we are uh, actually making a lot of time on the schedule so we can actually make those things finally happen this year. It's going to be so fun, dude. I cannot wait. We've got, uh, we've got this Kickstarter that's going to start at the end of the month. And I'll be working on Nira X Reborn number three. Uh, that will actually wrap up that little three issue uh, arc and then we've got a whole new arc already planned out it's gonna be sweet but you know how we do <laughs> uh, Ivy, that's hilarious. But you know I would. I think you know I would totally draw one of those covers. Oh, Ken, uh, the books that I'm mentioning, the Nira X versus Zombies versus Cheerleaders, we are starting a Kickstarter. It's actually, there's a pre-launch for the Kickstarter starting on July 22nd, this month. Uh, right at the same time that uh, Comic-Con is having their online Comic-Con thing. And because uh, we're not allowed to actually go to the actual convention center. So the pre-launch is the 22nd. So we'll be trying to get the word out and telling everybody what the link is and where we're at. And the actual uh, Kickstarter will launch on the 27th. So just, just after that same weekend. And that's a crossover that we're doing with Fifinity Comics. They're the, uh, they're known for zombies versus cheerleaders. And when, uh, when the idea came about to have Nira actually do a crossover with them, that sounded too fun to, to, to pass up. We had to do that. So, so Nira X versus zombies versus cheerleaders. July 22nd, July 27th. Then of course the book will probably come out like a month, month and a half after the Kickstarter is all done. You're gonna see all the covers. There's a, there's, there's actually a, a few variant covers from different artists, super cool. Uh, I'm gonna have some interior pages done so that way you could actually see what some of them are gonna look like. I will try to post an image of uh, like the logo and stuff like that so that way you can see like a little bit of, uh, of what things are starting to look like. This cover is just going to be the regular edition cover and there's going to be a pencil version of just this cover too, kind of a raw, uh, just a raw pencil edition. As far as the cover goes, it's going to be one of the variant covers. Oh, let me make sure, make sure I'm in frame again. 
You guys keep me straight. I got the camera kind of zoomed in a little bit, so I wanted to make sure that you guys could actually see what, what the pen is doing. Between the resolution being a little bit lower than what I would like it to be, and being a little far away, it's too fuzzy for me to be far away and still have it be fun to, to watch. So I zoomed up a little bit. <laughs> yes, Ken. <laughs> All right. Hey, Joe. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the other piece that we're talking about, that you and I are talking about. I am blocking out, because I have the, the poses blocked out for the idea that we had for it. I don't want to say too much about it, because I, I would like to surprise people with it when we actually have it done. That would be so sweet. But yeah, I've got the I've got the general poses all laid out, and I've been looking at, like, like you said, like that one Poison Ivy. Uh, she has like so many good angles on her face, and that's sort of what I'm looking at right now, is, is the angles on her face, and then the inspiration for for how the pose should go. Of course, now that he gave me the, the like those particular references to look at, like now I want to draw his poison ivy too. So it's like, you getting me, man. But you're definitely gonna see some, uh, you're definitely gonna see some progress pics uh, after the weekend. By the way, Joe, I did uh, I did talk to Kat. I made sure that she was going to uh, send you a message back. If she didn't already, um, it's late now, so she's probably uh, off to sleep. But I did let her know about uh, about contacting you, staying in touch, letting you know where things are. <laughs> yeah, I mean that sounds too crazy. <laughs> it, but but it sounds like like the kind of crazy that would be like I, I think I might I think I might do that just because it's a freaking dinosaur <laughs> or something like that. Just to mix it up. That'd be nuts. I think you have a good idea of the kind of kind of cool crazy that I like. Make sure I'm in. Make sure I'm in frame over here. I'm over here inking off the side of the camera, off the edge of the world. This piece is definitely getting uh, overloaded with a lot of little hatching and little details.
Yeah, Joe, no problem, yeah. No, no, it's like, a, I definitely, uh, definitely agree. Just gotta be in touch. You know how it is sometimes you get busy with, uh, with a couple different things and lose, lose track of time sometimes. Is always getting her freaking clothes tore off. We got about 15 more minutes to hang out. I know I won't finish this in 15 minutes, but I like to keep it like in uh, digestible increments of time. Hope you guys are actually enjoying uh, watching this come, uh, come to life. <laughs> I am not as fast as Barry Allen. I wish I could try. I could get a I can get a lot more books done. And get all these ideas out of my head. Yeah, trust me, I wish I could. <laughs> you are you are correct, Kevin. <laughs> I think that's like uh, that's my that's that's my uh, that's my niche. That's my that's my niche. Uh... Yes, Ivy, you are correct. I think you know me quite well. It's like I I think it's Bill's fault that her clothes keep on doing that.
But I gotta be nice to her, though. She pays my bills. little goatee over here. I don't know if I don't know if that's shaggy or not. I don't think it is. I'll put a put a sideburn on him so that way that way nobody thinks he's sh shooting shaggy in the face. <laughs> Ivy knows all. No, no, you're right, Kevin. I gotta, I got for for certain books, I gotta, gotta keep her legal. And then there's other books. <laughs> I mean, nothing. I didn't say nothing. Nobody knows about those books. I'm almost thinking this uh, this big guy back here. I'm not sure if this is a Fisk zombie or a Luther zombie. He's kind of big. Maybe he's a Fisk. I might have to might have to put a little something on him to make sure people know that he's a, he's a Fisk parody. A little, little Hell's Kitchen uh, reference or something. You know what, Ivy? I think you're right. He does remind me a lot of the blob. That would actually be a little bit more fitting with him being a, a zombie like this. He might actually be the blob.
This will make some good Easter eggs for later. Try and figure out which is which. Of course, a couple of these guys are just random guys. I mean, I got my uh, got my sort of high school Skeletor happening back here. Who knows who this guy is? And who knows who this guy is? Eh, this guy's pretty. It's pretty spot on for for a couple of acts. So we'll see how. We'll see how everything pans out. I'll definitely show you guys when it's all done. Is that right, Jason? You know, it's funny. It's like, I actually don't remember that book. Now I feel like I shouldn't look it up because it is not well received. You know, the Ultimate Universe was kind of mean to everybody. Yep, I have to agree with you. Well, we'll put a little a couple of white highlights on here and then we will we'll see about taking a look at it, maybe calling in a night. We'll see what we got.
right, looks like we're just about out of time, guys. Jason, Ivy, thanks for coming out. Joe, if you're still there, thanks. Kevin, Ken. Not sure who's still on, but I appreciate you guys hanging out for a little bit. Hope you guys had fun. Hey, thanks, Jason. I appreciate it. I tortured you guys with a little bit of a uh, little bit of homemade music, just so I wouldn't get tackled by the uh, censor guardians. No, Ivy, you're always welcome. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's all good. I'm glad you guys are all here. Joe, have a great night, dude. some little loose ends I do this randomly throughout the week so if you guys happen to catch me you're always welcome to stop in on Saturdays I try to do this uh, right around midnight a little bit earlier this past week I was doing it super late like just weird times but I'll be back uh, definitely on Saturday kind of do the midnight thing and then uh, throughout the week if you happen to catch me that'd be awesome appreciate you guys